Hi, this is Christine with This That Beauty. Today I'm going to uh, show you a quick and easy side sweat pompadour with a bun. But before I do that, I want to talk to you a little bit about my, my blowout that uh, is about two weeks old and I'm just riding it right into the ground. So let me just share with you the products that I used for the blowout. I used a uh, We Dad um, co-wash and um, I just did one one application then I rinsed it out and I did some deep condition with Eden Body Works I think it's a coconut cream deep conditioner and for the blowout I use Mark give it to me straight um, super smoothing lotion um, I also used uh, Silurum 21 leave-in conditioner which is which has been a staple for me ever since I, I cut my hair I think about six months ago um, to finish it off, I use the We Weed Ed Salon series. It's called um, Mongongo Oil. It's really light, um, all-purpose oil, and that's what's giving my hair this this sheen that you see here. To maintain it, I use Optimum um, Whipped Oil Moisturizer. I put a little bit in every night, and then I wrap it, and I put my silk scarf on. Now for this pompadour. I'm going to be using um, several pieces of hair that are not mine. Um, it's hair that matches my texture um, pretty closely. For the pack of hair, it's probably about $20. I've been using it for years. Um, I also made a couple of clips out of the same hair. Um, I added, I, I don't even know what I call these, these little clips here. I just sewed them onto the hair. You can see there, yes, and um, I'm going to be using about three or four of those clip-in pieces. So I start by doing a very, I would say, kind of a drastic side part. Um, I This is my general area for parting my hair whenever I do a side bun, but you can go lower if you want to, but that's just where I'm starting. And I go about a half of an inch back from the very front of my, my hair. And um, I just take a piece of hair with the clips and I clip it in facing forward as if I was going to put in a bang. Then go back a little bit further, about another half of an inch. And I add another piece of hair. At this point, it doesn't really have to be perfect. You just want to get them in there because all you're trying to do is uh, create volume. And go back another half of an inch, still while facing forward. Add another piece of hair. Now I'm doing this to add volume to the hair and to also give um, a bit more control. So as you can see this hair, it matches my hair pretty closely and you know I'm not trying to um, you know win any prizes with this. It's I really just want to add some volume and um, give myself a nice side swept pompadour. So once all the pieces are in, comb it forward and um, I start rolling rolling the hair rolling it and then I'm going to use a couple of pins just to hold it So it's now in place. I don't worry about those little pieces that might fall to the front. I'll get those later. Now I'm going to work on my bun. I mean, to start, I have well, what I refer to as the, world, the world's tiniest bun. 
once I put my elastic in to hold a hair, oh gosh, that's not sexy at all. I have about a, maybe about a, an inch of hair that's outside of the elastic. I wrap it a couple of times. I want it to be really, really secure because nobody wants their hair to fall out mid-step. So now that I have that in, it's nice and secure. The center, center of the back of my head, I take some other hair. This is probably about 18 inches. And I fold it. This probably about six inches, and then I'm going to wrap this around my teeny tiny bun. So I'm going to secure it using these pins. Just wrap it around the bun. Keep wrapping it until it's all wrapped up. Once it's all wrapped up, I also like to just put a couple of additional pins in just to make sure it's nice and secure. Okay, so Insta Ponytail. So now that I have my hair back there, I'm going to work on my pompadour a little bit. For that, I'm using um, this Joyco Power Spray. It gives good hold, and um, because my hair is natural, and tomorrow when I take this down, I'm still going to want to wear my hair straight. I can brush it out and still have some control, but not it's not really going to be stiff. So I kind of just uh, miss the front of it, and I'm slowly just forming my pompadour and lifting it because I'm thinking I want a little bit more drama. I'm going to go in with a couple more pins. Just to secure it. And now I have, I think it's just about where I want it. And so, because my hair is so short, um, I need something to hold the sides in. So I'm going to go again with the power spray and I'm just going to use my fingers to hold it back, but then also use a couple of other pins. So these pins here to hold it back even more. So that's done. My sides are looking good. I've got nice volume there. Now I'm just going to take my ponytail. I'm going to just I'm going to do a little bit of back combing on this because my hair texture is kind of coarse and I don't want this to look too sleek back here. So I'm doing that to just kind of rough it up. And then I'm just going to take that and I'm going to just wrap it around nice and loose. And I'm just going to start securing it with more pins. So I'm going to put as many pins in here as I feel comfortable with because as I mentioned before, 
you do not want to be that girl that loses her hair on the dance floor or anywhere else for that matter. Oops. Okay, so I think I've gotten enough pins in there. And that felt like about seven or eight pins. And um, I think it's, it's nice and sleek. Uh, I've got nice volume here from the side. I think it looks great from the other side. Let's see. I think that also looks good. And um, that's pretty much it. I mean, that took all of, what, 10 minutes? And you've got a sleek style, nice bun, a side sweat pompadour. This look is perfect for uh, New Year's Eve um, or any special occasion where you want to, you know, get out of that um, afro, um, as I've been wearing for several months. And, you know, just do something different. It's a nice blowout. Um, if, if you don't know what the weather is going to do, this is a nice style as well because it keeps the hair out of the elements. You use products that will lock out the moisture if there happens to be, um, you know, like a, a light misting of rain or a little bit of snow or anything like that. And as I mentioned, the, the Joyco Power Spray, it gives a nice hole, but tomorrow I can take this down and I can brush my hair out and I can go back to wearing my hair nice and straight. So uh, that's it. I hope that um, this was helpful. And um, if you try it, uh, let me know how it goes. Thanks. This is, uh, again, Christine from This That Beauty.